<laughs> hey everybody! Welcome to the Film Pigs on Geek Nation. We're very, it's very excited. We're the first web show all about the movies that's announced its intention to buy the LA Clippers. Yeah, yeah. Yes. we're buying them. Uh, we're buying there. It's and it's gonna be. Uh, we're a hundred percent not racist white people. Exactly. We so, can buy the Clippers. We so, love all kinds of colors. Yeah, and we want them to be our team. Yeah. You can take pictures with black people and put them on Instagram, and we don't care. Yeah. In fact, we insist you do that. Yeah. Only take pictures with black people. So, welcome to the show. Uh, I'm your host, Steve Skelton. I am here with fellow film pig Todd Robert Anderson. Hello. Our third film pig, Stephen Falk, is away, very busy doing his TV show. Uh, it's called very, You're the Worst. It's, it's going to be yeah. on FX. And it's so, very, it'll be very good. Yeah, later, yeah. This summer, later this summer. That's so. exciting. I can't wait to watch it. Yeah, fantastic. And uh, we have a very special guest, Wendy Payet. Payet? 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 Really? Payet? You really nailed that. <laughs> Damn it, son of a bitch. We were just outside with the I whole know. thing. Wendy Sweetlove. Thank you. Uh, it's nice to be here. Yeah, and she's nice a, to be here with Todd. Not so much. She's she's a singer and she's a songwriter and she's delightful. Are you gonna throw that away too? <laughs> you just like ate that. That's, you're the worst host. You are the worst host. I'm really awful. So popcorn. 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 It's artfully spilled. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So uh, let's get started like we always do with some rash judgments. Oh. This is where we take a look at movies that are coming out soon and tell you whether you should or should not go see them based entirely on our own dickish opinions. We have not seen these movies. We have not been invited to screeners no. for these movies no. or press meetings or junkets. Nope. They won't let us see them. Nope. Um, so We're regular movie going people. Yeah. We're yes. like, just like you. We're yeah. just like you. <laughs> so you can relate to us. We're like internet commenters. Yeah, we have we have no information. But, yeah, right. And we are we are that. goddamn sure of ourselves. And so, we're full of hate. Yeah. So yeah. Todd, yeah. rash judgment. My rash judgment is for a movie which in Japan would be called Gojira. Oh. But here, in the American states, it's called of America. <laughs> the American states of America, it's called Godzilla. This yeah. is a movie. Starring Brian Cranston. And he plays a man riddled with cancer who does not know how to save his family. No, Todd. No. He's great Todd. at chemistry. Wait. No, Todd. And Sorry. the only Todd. way to save his family no, not, Todd. Todd. is not to that. stop a <laughs> giant monster that's taller than buildings. All right, uh, maybe. Maybe. No, I didn't see it. It yeah. could be. Maybe. Maybe it is. I didn't see it. The point is, it's got Brian Cranston and a monster that's taller than buildings. And it's directed by this guy who directed this indie movie called Monsters. I like that movie. Uh, what's the guy's name? I don't know. I can't remember. But the point is, his movie that he made, Monsters, which is his only movie up till now, really fucking good. It's a good movie. Really? Really good. I haven't seen that one either. It's really good. It's about these people, I haven't seen it, it. Americans trapped uh, south of the border in Mexico, but it takes place in a time when alien monsters have taken over Mexico for some reason. Nope. And they have to get out. It's very exciting. Is it a documentary? N well, it, no. 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 But it's, it's a small not. indie. It's a small indie movie. So it's the monster a small indie presence, movie. they're not like, you don't really see them a lot, but, but it, present, their presence is But there. it feels, it's got that documentary yeah. feeling to it. So it like feels yeah. gritty and real, but it's not like found footage, so it's not so shady. I see. The point, it's is, it's, huh? the point yeah. is, it's really good. And if anyone should helm a new Godzilla movie, it's this guy. So. I, I don't know if you've seen the trailers for this thing. It looks fucking great. This is a movie that they made maybe specifically for me. And I'm not technically a demographic, but I'm very excited to see this movie. You, you're, not even, you're not even remotely close to any quadrant. No, I, I don't know why they would have made this movie. <laughs> but the point is they made it and I'm excited about it. My son's eight and I should not take him to see this movie. <laughs> but I'm going to take him to this movie. Um, because That's... I showed him the trailer, and I was like, is that too scary? And he said, no. And I was like, oh, it's too scary. <laughs> and I'm going to take him anyway and teach him a lesson. <laughs> um, but I... <laughs> That's, this is what you should not do. Let that be a lesson to you. Yeah. Don't yeah. parent like I do. No. Yeah. It's wrong. Don't do this to your children. Yeah. Don't do it. No. But the movie looks exciting. <laughs> Godzilla, the the way they've created the new Godzilla, he looks good. It's not like Roland Emmerich's Godzilla from 1998 uh, with Matthew Broderick, where Godzilla looked like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> the, 
this is a movie where Godzilla looks like a badass and he's pissed off and I can't wait. There's tidal waves. There's buildings blowing up and exploding. There's people running for their lives. It's everything a Godzilla movie should be according to what I've seen so far. I'm going to see it. You should see it. It's the movie of the summer! <gasps> but it's coming out in, in the spring. Okay, oh. thanks, Todd. That's, that's, a, that's a really uh, ringing endorsement for Godzilla. That is. Now, we do have, even though Stephen Falk is not with us, He's so busy. He's so busy, but he had time to tape a rash judgment. I don't know he why he's did? so busy. Yeah. We do this show and do other things. I know. Why can't really? he do yeah. what this do show? Do? <laughs> really? Why? There's a lot of pornography on the internet. Yeah. And uh, that is time consuming. <laughs> yeah. It, is. it takes it consumes a lot go, more time you than you go think down it a rabbit That's what hole. I hear. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, Stephen Fault, rash judgment. Let's see it. Go. Hey everybody, I'm in my trailer, uh, and I'm talking about Wolf Creek 2, which is an Australian movie. Um, it's a sequel to a horror movie that came out in 2005. Um, it is, uh, uh, I don't know, it's about a crazy outback guy who's all mad because there's some Americans in the outback, and he drives a truck and, and talks like that, and he has a knife, uh, and it's a big knife, and... Um, yeah, it was in 2005, and the dude uh, waited a long time before he made this sequel. Um, I, you know, I, I, I'm probably not going to see it, but maybe you want to, if you like, uh, if you miss Crocodile Dundee and think it would have been really good as a horror movie. Yeah, Wolf Creek 2. Uh, you know, I don't know. All right. <laughs> Okay, so uh, that was the, uh, Stephen Falk's uh, Rash Judgment. I, uh, I'm i on board. I I love Crocodile Dundee. Yeah. And uh, it would have been great as a slasher film. Because of the knife. Yeah, the knife. Well, on, um, on that note, Wendy, do you have a Rash Judgment for us? Oh. I have, a, I have the rashest of judgments. Nice. What's the... A oh, Million Dollar Arm. Now, this movie... <laughs> is that what it's called? Yeah. yeah. It is. You just... Use. You made it sound weird. But well, I was just proud that I remembered the name of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Million Dollar Arm, and there's some baseball in it, which I actually really like. And then there's some other things in it, which I didn't really care about. And there's some kids from what, India. Okay, let's be more specific. What, what don't you care about? You like baseball. What about the movie don't you care about? I don't care about? about the kids from India. I don't really care. Like, you, know, you don't they, care about know. Indian children? Not generally, but... <laughs> Here's the reason why you should really go see it. John fucking ham. Right. Okay? I give it two tits up. In fact, I give it an extra tit. Oh, like a total like recall. Like a total recall yeah. tit? Yes. <laughs> it's three tits up. It's got baseball. It's got kids. <laughs> it's got John fucking ham. All right. The ladies go see like it. the John ham. Go see yeah. Oh. <laughs> He makes me feel funny in my microphone, I gotta tell you. Oh, yeah? Yeah, no. So I'm saying, go see it right now. You stop watching this show. Yeah, you know what? Get up right now. <laughs> I wish I made women feel funny in their microphone. Yeah, but I mean, that's for me, that's probably like a disease, though. That's like a, it might like be. a that's hospital a whole, an ointment. It's herpes. It's a different yeah. thing. Yeah, you're right. All right, well, that was uh, Rash Judgments. Thank you, everybody. They were fantastic. Well, now it's time for our mid segment. Uh huh. And usually this is where we do, like, kind of like maybe uh, some sort of like. Uh, like a, a sketch? Like a sketch Ooh. or a. Oh. What? I have an idea. What? Oh. I want to teach a master class. In really? What? Yeah. In, in like, what? A like acting? In acting. Or... In acting. But you're a singer. Yeah. It's... But it's a master class. Yeah, but you're a singer and you probably shouldn't, uh, it doesn't... Yeah, but here's the thing. It's relevant. It is. It's relevant. super relevant. Really? I'm going to I'm gonna explain it to you. Can I please teach the class? Okay. No, all right, yeah. I, I mean, why not? I mean, Let's just, yeah. I'm just, you know, I'm just going to pull off the top of my head. It's going to be really casual. We're just going to relax and have fun with it. Okay. But I have, I, it's, I think it's important. Okay. All right, well, all right. let's okay. do the master uh, class. Okay. Uh, let's take it away. Roll okay, here, here we roll go. It. Roll it. Roll ah! it. Hi, I'm Wendy Sweetlove, and I'm here to teach an important master class on acting in movies. Hey, Todd. Huh? What? Oh. Have you ever seen Runner Runner 
with Justin Timberlake and Ben Affleck? No, I don't think so. Steve. What? Ow, you're really strong. Have you seen Runner Runner? I don't think anybody saw Runner Runner. Well, you may be right, but do you know why? I didn't see Runner Runner. Yeah, how would you know why if you didn't see Runner Runner? Oh, you guys are idiots. Runner Runner has Justin Timberlake, and Justin Timberlake is a singer. And? Oh, yeah, what is the meaning of this? He didn't sing in Runner Runner. If he had sang in Runner Runner, <laughs> people would have been running, running to see Runner Runner, okay? Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's an argument you can make. Look, here, here, I'm a singer. If I had been in Runner Runner, it would have looked like this. These are the reports I told you about. I could have gone to the authorities, but I came to you. I appreciate that, Wendy. You've really saved my ass. How would you like to come work for me? You may have to take a beating. You may have to steal some very expensive, important stuff. You may have to hurt people. But I will make you rich. I just want to pay my way through college. That's noble. Our relationship has come to fruition. And now I'll do some crimes for the tuition. Now see that? That's how you make a bomb like Runner Runner a hit. OK. If I were in the Scarlett Johansson movie Under the Skin, about a space alien who seduces unsuspecting men and uses them in creepy experiments, okay. it would have looked a little something like this. How do I get to center of town? Oh, that's easy. You just go to the roundabout, and you take a right, and then you go to the next roundabout, and you take a left, and... Are you with anyone? No. Do you have any family? No. So if you were to completely disappear, no one would notice? I doubt it. Would you like to come back to my house and have sex with me, lonely man? Huh. Pretty girl out of the blue asking me to have sex. Seems suspect. Are you an evil alien? I... Just want to take you back to my empty warehouse and show you what I look like completely bare house. Yeah, okay, I guess that sounds all right. Yeah. Don't you see? Singing takes a movie like that out of the art house and puts it into the cineplex. Yeah, but I don't think the filmmakers want that movie to be anywhere but the art house. Nonsense. Nobody wants to be in the stupid art house. I could have even saved that Julie Christie movie away from her where she gets dementia. I don't think that movie needed saving. Shut up, dingus! I'm afraid she's showing signs of dementia. You might want to consider assisted living. But I promised her I would never take her away from our home. I want to stay in my home. It's the place for me. Does this happen a lot? Is this you know, a thing? I want to stay in my home. It's the place for me. I'm afraid singing is a much worse sign of, of is it, dementia. Is she may be. I want to stay in my home. It's the place for me. Maybe a home. See, idiots, I told you. If you can sing, you should put a song in your movie. Don't be like Justin Timberlake. Runner, 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 runner. Okay, that was a really interesting master yeah, class. No, uh, it I, was, uh, uh, you made some salient points about acting. Really? Because I don't feel like you absorbed the truth. 
No, I absorbed yeah, it. I, mean, I absorbed no, I think the no, 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 it was good. It was oh, no, fine. Wait, yeah. it was fine. I think it was, no, Thank it's, you so it's, much. it's stuff yeah. that you normally don't yeah. think about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We think about it. We thought about it. Yeah, so we did. okay. We thought Excellent. About Thank you for that. So, like, we, I mean, guys, we actually accomplished so much in this episode. We did. We did. I mean, just a ton. I mean, mm -hmm. we, you know, uh, we started the show. Um, it was a little shaky in the introductions. So I'll admit that. Um, yeah, you fucked that. Yeah, what was my name again? Wendy Piat. How long have I known you? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Wendy so, Pyatt? So there was that. It's Pyatt. It's Pyatt. 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 It's simple. It's, where's the Pyatt? Right there. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Right here's where the pie's at. You just made it really know what worse. I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but, but I pronounced it correctly. I just hope my dad's watching. Oh that. man. All right. So yeah. then, you know, then we yeah. had rash judgments where um, the ladies like the John Ham. Um, yeah. because, well, I mean, well, yes. what can you do? This is why I continue uh, to drink. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> What's his excuse? I, I don't have one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. He drinks because he's sober. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. yeah, and then we had a, a riveting master class that taught us something brand new Good. about yeah, acting about that acting. We, hadn't, we hadn't thought about before. I've never... Knowledge dropped. Yeah, I've never done. considered that. I'm going to start when I audition for uh, commercials and bit parts, yeah. as I do, I'm gonna start, start, start singing. singing. Bursting start the singing. song, yeah. just in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just so you're, gonna, like you're, gonna, you're, you're, you're gonna start getting work. Oh. Just like it's that, just like that. No, and, then, and then we wrap things up, so. Uh, which is what we're doing uh, right yeah, now. Yeah, I think that's that's the show, so. Thank you for watching. Thank I like, you. I'd like to thank uh, Todd Anderson. Hey. I'd like to thank Stephen Falk. Thanks, Steve. Pig. Nice trailer. I'd like to thank Wendy Pyatt. Thank Wendy you. Sweet Love, Thank you. singer songwriter, um, uh, very talented. She's also in Punch the Clown. Yes, the band. I am. Yes. So we can Which just is, plug Punch in. Punch the Clown is yeah. a, that means jacking off, right? It's more, it's more of a cerebral piece. Oh, it's cerebral. Yeah, yeah super, super. Yeah, it's I very. Punch the Clown it's like a. Like, yeah, yeah but we do it cerebrally. Oh, you jack off <laughs> yeah. cerebrally. Yeah. So um, they're uh, LA based band. You should check them out. They're yeah, a lot of fun. Where, where, you have a website? website. I have a website, wendypyatt.com. Oh, com. nice. And you can hear uh, music. P I A T T I A double T. Double T. Yes. And it's Wendy with a Y. Not like yes. a weird, not the weird Wendy with an eye. Yeah, with yeah, like, a, with like an real, exclamation point. The real, point. real Wendy, yeah. the real Wendy. Yeah. The proper yeah. Wendy. Yeah. Like proper, the proper Wendy. Joint. Yeah, like, that's exactly. Exactly. exactly what it is. Yeah. Uh, so check that out. Anything else? Am I missing anything? Uh, no, no. I don't think so. All right, well, then until next time. The oh, wait. What? Wait, I can plug something. Well, oh, plug it. Plug away. Um, I did a short film Ooh, yeah, with this that's guy right. named Frank Stokes called mm -hmm. Dog Catchers. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be in Dances with Films. Excellent. Uh, I didn't know about that. And that's alongside. Starts, what? Starring alongside. Rusty Schwimmer. Rusty Schwimmer. Friend of the show. Yes. Yes. So. And uh, we're both in the short film together at Dances with Films, which is at the in Hollywood. It's at the Man Chinese Six or the Ground. I don't know what they call it. The Grounding Chinese Man, Six Grounding at that Chinese, mall yeah. down there. Yeah, yeah. Um, it starts at the end of May. I don't know when the movie will be, but you should look up Dances with Films. Yeah, so go just, see it. just go down there and wait for the movie to start. Yeah, just right go now. there. Just so wait. Those are the plugs. Thank you for watching. Until next time, the concession stand is closed due to health code violations.